What's up YouTube? So, you've purchased your axes, they're secured nice and tightly by your Ronin treasure wallet, and now you want to build out some scholar teams using that treasure wallet. Let's find out how to do that. Roll it! Alright, before we get started, I do want to mention all my social media handles here. I am streaming on Twitch mostly in the morning US Eastern Time. I do have a watch to earn program that you can learn about in my Discord. Links for all my social media handles will be in the details below of this video. Like, follow, subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you're notified when I post a new video here on YouTube. And with all that said, let's hop into it. All right, so you've got your inventory here. You've picked out the axes that you plan to give to your scholars. You know which ones you're giving out. Um, and now it's just a matter of actually creating the Ronin Treasure Scholar account. All right, it's the same process uh, as creating your own main wallet. It's just going to be for the scholar. Okay, so we're going here, going to Ronin. Obviously, um, you're gonna we're gonna double check here. What you want to make sure that you aren't actually selected on the treasure here. You want to be selected on uh, your non-treasure wallet, so it just doesn't confuse it. So we're gonna go over here back to Ronin, just like we have when we created our main wallet. Um, we're gonna go and connect hardware wallet. It's gonna open up this web browser. Beautiful. Let's we'll we'll see. We're gonna hit connect wallet. It's gonna open up the export public key as it should. We're gonna go ahead and export. It's gonna ask us to enter in our passphrase. This is something new that I've started doing, where I enter my passphrase on the device and not here in the box. It's just just another step of security, just in case there happens to be a key logger uh, virus on your computer enter the passphrase on your device and it just it helps you to be more safe so I'm gonna grab my treasure we're gonna enter my passphrase on the treasure here once you've done that now it's gonna give you all the ethereum addresses that are inside of my wallet you're gonna select one or I'm gonna select one I'm just gonna go right down the line here there's no reason not to we're gonna grab number two here bada bang a bada boom hit continue account created awesome if we check the Ronin wallet here we should see it boom 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 treasure number two right that is what we want to see we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and manage this real quick we're gonna go to treasure two we're gonna change the name of this to Paxi squad one and there's our first scholar account super simple right let's go ahead and let's make another one we're gonna go back to Ronan we're gonna go ahead and select the non treasure account we're going to go back in here, connect hardware wallet. This is going to come again. Again, we'll connect wallet, go to this web browser, it'll export the keys. And this is how it should, this should, this is how it should work. It's super simple, really not that difficult at all to create your scholar accounts. So uh, the main issue a lot of people have is they end up getting stuck in the loading screen when they try to connect the wallet to the Ronin wallet. Um, you just have to make sure you disable the uh, the ad blocker make sure you disable the pop-up blocker uh, close the browser reopen the browser and you shouldn't have any issues um you can uh, clear your browser cache um that does hap that does that does help um, and then also last uh, uh last but not least is dis disabling your your firewall and your uh your virus protection just for a little bit so it's, it's, those are the steps that usually will help you get the get through that loading screen but as you can tell I'm not having any issues with my setup. Okay, so last time we selected number two, right? So let's go ahead and we're gonna check the Ronin wallet here. And you know, obviously we're not seeing any assets, but we do see the assets in the first one, right? So what I wanna see here is I wanna go to my Paxi Squad one here. And I wanna check this Ronin address right here because obviously we don't wanna import the same address, right? Um, so we're gonna take a look here, C2B9, C2B9. 9731 9731 all right so there this number two right here is currently already being used so you don't you want to make sure you don't try to import that one it's not going to work and if it tries to do it it may mess it up um, it may mess that account up so just make sure you don't try to import the same address again all right so we're going to go to number three right hit continue account connected let's go take a look see if it's there treasure three beautiful we love it. We love to see it. We're going to go in. We're going to manage it real quick. Treasure three. Change our name. Paxi Squad two. Whoops. Should probably learn how to type. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and do another one. This is so fast, quick, and efficient. There's no reason not to. 
This is Paxi Squad 5 for me. All right. Boom. All right. So from here, this is from here. I mean, that was that's the hard part creating all your scholar accounts from here it's super simple what you're gonna do here is once you have your scholar accounts created you're gonna go ahead and log out of your main account which is my treasure uh, my treasure main wallet here right so this is my main account that's connected to this Axie infinity account with all the axes in it I'm gonna log out of this account real quick um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to select Paxi squad one right and then I'm just gonna log in log in with Ronin wallet have to make another MetaMask. You don't have to do any of that. You're just logging in with this new uh, Trezor Wallet account, this new Ronin Trezor Wallet account. All right. Paxi Squad One is what we're doing here. We're going to confirm this transaction. This is going to open up for us to export our keys again and enter our passphrase. So we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. We're logged in. Um, the account is created. What should we call you? Well, you're going to call us Paxi Squad One. Beautiful. There we go, Paxi Squad One. Now we're gonna need to complete the setting up of your account. So we have to set up an email and a password. So you're gonna go to Google. This is gonna be the easiest place for you to create all the Scholar account emails that you're gonna need. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and enter in our information here. An email into your original email box that you made. So obviously the name of this email is Paxi Squad. And I just put plus for each squad number. Um, and so they're all going to send their verification form uh, numbers to this one email address. Okay. Super simple. 740-765. Beautiful. We'll go and verify this. 740-765. And that's it. You've got your, your email account made. You've got your Paxi Squad Scholar account made. We've got it here. We've got it labeled nice and organized. Paxi Squad One, Paxi Squad One, Paxi Squad Plus One at gmail.com. And, uh, and we're all set. Now we can send axes to this account. Let's go ahead and do that. Why not? And now we're just picking the axes, sending them as a gift to the correct address that we want to send them to. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send plant E right here. Beautiful looking plant. Got some nice damage, some nice utility. We're going to go ahead and we're going to gift. Uh, we're going to go to our Ronin account here. And we're going to check. We're going to go Paxi Squad 1 is where we're actually going to send this to. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this address. I'm going to post this here. Um, that was a weird error. Uh, yeah, I'll do that one more time. I see that error. This address is not in our marketplace. Make sure it's the right one, but it actually is. So it realizes it is It's kind of weird. I know some people have been getting that error. Um, so I think the error that they are getting is just the fact that they actually haven't created a Ronin account with that Ronin treasure wallet. So you have to make sure you actually create, you know, your accounts with the scholar accounts, right? So I've got an account created with Paxi Squad One, um, which is this address right here. Also, you have to understand that when you do gift these axes away, they will reset to level one, of course. Once you've confirmed, also, uh, as always, you're gonna confirm the address that you have um, pasted here. So C2B921C59, we're gonna take a look at Paxi Squad, C2B9215C59931 ends in 9731. Beautiful. So that is the correct address. Awesome. We're hitting gift. Maybe hit gift. And it should gift it if it does it correctly. Yeah. That does not look like that transferred correctly. We're going to go ahead and hit gift again. I'm going to go to Paxi Squad 1 here. I'm going to copy that real quick. Go back to Treasure Main Wallet. Gift. 
So I'm not sure exactly what fixed it there, but now it's allowing, allowing me, I think what might've messed it up is that I was actually on, I was selected over here. I was selected on the, um, I wasn't selected on my treasure main account. I was actually selected on Paxi squad. So you actually want to make sure you're selected on the correct account when you're sending this. So you can go to the account, copy the address, make sure you go back to your actual Rotherin treasure wallet. Um, learning things as I'm doing this as well. <laughs> so we've got this transaction that we want to confirm. It is going to send to my Ronin uh, treasure wallet. Transaction submitted successfully. Let's go to my activity. We'll take a look at this. This is actually going to scare me because last time I saw gifted um, was when I got my assets stolen. So I'm freaking out just a little bit. So what we do see, we, we gifted plant E to Paxi Squad 1. So if we go ahead, we log out of here. We'll go over to Paxi Squad 1. You should see Axi 1 there now. We'll log in with the Ronin wallet. We're going to confirm. It's going to make us do this guy again. And there we go. Uh, the Axie is in plant E. That is the one that we wanted to send. It is now in Paxi Squad 1. And we're just going to go ahead and continue the process with uh, the other two axes we're going to send to this account. And then we'll go down the line of sending all the rest of our axes. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, not difficult at all. Really easy to manage, creating all those email accounts where you just do plus one, plus two, plus three. Really simple to do. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, hit that little thumbs up button, hit the little notification bell so you're notified when I post a new video. Again, I do stream on Twitch. Uh, most mornings uh, u.s eastern time join my discord in the details below with all that said have a great morning have a great night have a great day god bless be awesome we'll see you next time peace